for, for weeks and months, we've been telling people to stay inside their homes, to stay safe, and today was definitely the day to stay inside because it's just so <laughs> soggy and nasty out there. Let's check in with Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer. Still raining, Craig. Yeah, I guess that's the silver line to all this, right? If the beaches are going to be closed, you might as well just have a weekend washout. That has certainly been the case, especially yesterday and today. And still raining out there, as you said, Lauren. There is the rain. It's gradually trying to lift to the north. You can't rule out some more storms developing to the south and trying to come our way. New uh, extension now to the flash flood warning now until 8.30 p.m. Uh, and this is in effect now covering pretty much the same area that was hammered earlier. Had the flooding on South Beach, the flooding in Brick. Go. Quite a bit of flooding up and down uh, the I-95 corridor there in Miami-Dade. And in Broward, flood warning until 7.30 p.m., and that's basically 75 east and long and south of 595. Flood, a street flood advisory, that's in effect for northern and central Broward. We'll probably see another one for issued for western Broward. Also in Miami-Dade, street flood advisories for much of western Dade, Sweetwater, Doral, as well as Miami Lakes, Hialeah Gardens into the south. Also a street flood advisory there as the rain continues, but it's trying to lift to the north, although it's doing a very, very slow. Here's the bigger picture, and you can see there is a lot of rain across the area lifting slowly to the north. Everybody that's like camera, park camera, it's, uh, it's cut out for just a second. Here's our temperature, 75 in Miami, 76, Fort Lauderdale, Hollywood, 83 in Key West. Seven on the sticking scale, it's very, very humid. Had nearly three inches of rain at MIA and much of South Florida between about an inch and a half and four and a half inches. Look at West Kendall coming in with nearly four inches of rain there. And uh, more rain in store. We could see another one to three inches of rain as we go through the night. Wind gusts today, it's blowing pretty good along the beach for a time this afternoon. Wind gusts above 30 miles an hour, and there is the satellite loop through the day today. Uh, obviously, a lot of clouds. This is all part of this moist weather system that is gradually working its way to the north. I'm kind of hung up on my mic there. And you can see a lot of clouds there. This is the deep tropical moisture with the heavy downpours. It is lifting to the north, but not before we get caught by what I'm calling a little stormy moisture tail. So one more round of storms tomorrow afternoon after we get through this. And then finally, that is out of here. Slightly drier air begins to work its way in. So Wednesday, we see a little bit of sun tomorrow. Wednesday, much less storminess. Thursday and Friday, just a mix of sun and summertime storms. More typical of this time of year, not this violent weather pattern that we're in right now. Middle of the country has warmed up. 88 in Chicago, definitely feeling like a Memorial Day weekend. The northeast on the cool side as well as the Rockies also there. A little bit cool. For tonight, heavy storms continue. Periods of that activity. Areas of flooding with a low temperature hovering in the mid-70s. For tomorrow, we're going to see some sun at times and then strong afternoon storms. High temperature near 88 degrees tomorrow with the south winds at 15 to 25. The winds gradually coming down as we go through the day south at 20 early, dropping to 15 seas, 3 to 5 feet. Seas slowly subsiding. Taking us through the upcoming week, it is looking less stormy. Still kind of stormy tomorrow and then less stormy for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Next week, and hopefully we can make up for this past weekend. I think that's a pretty good bet. Couldn't be much worse. Back to you.